it's Adele. Hi, I'm Ting. And today we'll be talking about our October favorites. It's kind of a new segment that we are going to try out. And so we'll mention one of our favorite things from this month and we will see how it goes. Yeah, we just figured out we would like to mix heavy things with light things so that it's not like oh, all the time. <laughs> like not too intense all the time. So let's go. So last month we watched Wonder Woman, like finally, after yes. ages, and it was so good! I really liked how they didn't overdo the whole like girl power, feminism thing. It was just nice. Mm -hmm. It was palatable. It wasn't like the I'm trying to choke you with our agenda thing. Okay, I guess I liked it and the way it portrayed feminism because from a lot of other feminist agenda things I've seen, what they try to do is portray females as more masculine and yeah, more manly basically. But in Wonder Woman, it wasn't the fact that she was very masculine. I mean, she can fight and all that, but anybody can fight. It's just different styles. What um, mattered to me or what struck me as amazing was what she was motivated wasn't by pride or some glory in battle for herself or something. She was motivated by her compassion and love for the people she saw around her that really needed her help. And I think that, in a way, makes it more believable, I guess? It shows that she's not, well, the people behind the movie were not ashamed that women can be more emotional at times, not everyone, but a majority of women can be more emotional than men. They made Wonder Woman powerful not because she was more masculine, but they showed that her feminine traits can make her powerful too. Mm. And that can help her and motivate her to accomplish great things. Oh, so there was this line towards the end of the movie where she said, it's not about deserve, it's about what you believe. And I believe in love. And it was like, ah! <laughs> Because the thing is that her motivation behind protecting and helping the humans was because of her love for them and not because she wanted to show that oh I'm super powerful or oh, just because I have enough strength to defeat the bad guy so that's why I'm doing that <laughs> and I guess part of the reason why I got pretty emotional at that part because it just really really reminded me of oh yeah Jesus looks the king to earth like how Wonder Woman left Temiscara? Yeah, Temiscara to save the world because she believed that was her fate and then she discovered that humans are not perfect as they as she thought. She thought humans were only terrible because of Eris' influence. And that in a way also really reminded me of how we can't blame like Satan for what we do because he gives us the ideas, but every bad thing we do is because we choose to listen to those. Like how Eris would whisper thoughts in humans' minds and give them ideas, like nefarious ideas. But in the end, it's still human's choice to listen to those ideas. And in the same way, yeah, we get tempted not just by Satan, but by our own desires. And in the end, it's still our choice when we do give in to them. And we can't blame anything but ourselves, honestly. It came down to the question of whether humans deserve to help. And of course, at a point, she did realize that they do not deserve to help because they are not perfect. And that all this terrible things, it's off their own doing. She realized that in the end she was motivated by love and that really reminded me of the Bible saying God is love and really love um, covers a multitude of sins. And in the same way Jesus came down out of like a perfect place, heaven, into this earth to save us terrible human beings. and. We, we didn't deserve what he did for us. We don't deserve his love. But the thing is, he loved us enough to do that. And oh, that's a crazy sort of love. We're not saying that the people who made this movie had this agenda in mind while making the movie, but it's just at certain points, many points of the movie, triggered these thoughts in us. I guess on the more yeah, the shallow more. side of things, we love the costume design. Gal got it. Get it. Get, get, got up. Gadot? Yeah. Gadot. Yeah. Gadot. Gadot. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> and Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt! <laughs> Sorry! Hi. Chris Pratt is my favorite Chris. But on the other hand, yes, Chris Pine has beautiful eyes. <laughs> the ending killed me a little on the inside, but it's okay. It's funny 
though the parallels between Wonder Woman and Captain America like the setting Steve and Steve, Steve Rogers, Steve Trevor Our new October favorite Yes, bullet journal Why did I start bullet journaling? I guess because I watch a lot of videos especially Amanda Richley ah! The bullet journal plan with me videos are what I like about it, or what attracted me in the first place, was I'm not very busy every single week. So if I use a normal planner, that's a lot of wasted pages. But with the bullet journal, I can just plan according to each week, and if I have anything going on, I can just draw it. But if I have nothing going on, though these days it's kind of rare, but just in case I have nothing going on, I don't need to waste pages. and I. Don't just need to follow a planner system. I can write some little diary entries about what God has done in my life in it. So it's very flexible. Unfortunately, I've not started, I'm not using those dotted journals. I'm just using a plain one because I used it beforehand and I didn't want to waste it. And actually October all the way to December is a trial period for this whole bullet journal thing because I figured if I like it, then I'll move on to my Muji dotted journal and I can't wait because my current notebook the pages bleed like crazy for me I don't exactly follow a bullet journal system because I got a undated planner from Typo earlier this year end of last year I think oh right end of last year it was just 350 sing dollars so why not and initially I did waste quite a few pages because I filled in all the dates before I got to them and so some weeks were pretty empty but now I just plan week by week so that I don't waste pages so undated planners are great or oh, bujos are great too <laughs> whatever floats your boat for other general journaling I just use a plain notebook because I don't like structure when it comes to actual journaling I like to like just all over the page I think let's keep it separate, I like it together all in one thing both my planner and my journaling stuff this past few weeks I have been pretty busy so I'm really thankful I started with the bullet journaling system and it helped me keep track of so many things otherwise I would not remember many of them it ranges from important things like sending emails to simple things I doing my laundry and it also gives me the chance to jot down really short things about what Jesus has done for me that day maybe like the day I finally got my tickets to go Tokyo yeah I wrote that down um, yes heads up let's just slot in the announcement here um, I'm leaving for Tokyo in a few weeks by the time this video comes up, I think that'll be two weeks. 21st November? I'm really excited to be going there. I'll be serving in the campus ministry there. I'm so glad how everything worked out in yeah, the past month, basically. So thankful to all the people who has helped me and linked me up with Ah! Divine connections! It's just amazing! I'm in the middle of raising funds right now, but eh, Jesus will provide. He always does. If you want to hear some things about miraculous providence, you can um, go check out the articles we wrote mm. for Why Am I? It's under the Our Daily Bread Ministries and we will link them down below. Yeah, it was a really cool experience and we're really thankful for the connections that led us to that mm. <laughs> also. Like our friend from Polytechnic, Constance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey Constance, if you're watching this, thanks Thank for you. the opportunity. Okay, yeah, in case you couldn't tell, we do like Taylor Swift and her music. <laughs> we used to be a lot more crazy, but mm. now we have different priorities in life. <laughs> but we still appreciate her music oh and her talent and how hard she works. I can. Have you seen the latest video of her? Like, it will also be linked to that. <laughs> It's really cool. I like to see into her creative process and it shows that, you know, um, these artsy things, maybe for some people it just comes like that. But really, when you want to produce quality stuff, it doesn't come overnight and it does take a lot of effort to fine tune it again and again because the original product is honestly a very rough version of what comes out in the end. How does that link to favorites? Ah, I just like the songs, okay? They're fun. 
uh, they're just fun to listen to. Her previous songs were like very personal and all that, but now it's hard to feel that her songs are very personal. I don't necessarily want to be that persona portrayed in her songs, nor do I necessarily relate to her, but I like to appreciate that from afar. Yeah, I guess we can just sum this up in I can't believe all the crazy things God has done in October. Exciting month. Pop that past and exciting month ahead. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of favorites videos, do give it a thumbs up and let us know down below. And as usual, please subscribe and press the little bell icon so that you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Yeah, um, we're also thinking of having a little more different video styles, I guess, since I'll be in Tokyo while Zing will be in Singapore, actually Bangkok for like one week, but um, we'll be in different countries. If you like something a little more vloggy, a little more lifestyle, you could tell us too. I'm not sure whether I can film every single thing I'll be doing in Tokyo yet, but I'll check with the organization I'll be working there, and if I could, and if I have time, <laughs> I would try my best to get some footage. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you ready for 